All right. Our next running back, number 23, David Montgomery. Go Chicago Bears. Um, what a far cry from his uh, 2020 output as a top 10 fantasy running back. Monty finished 2021 as running back 21, which is a low end running back two. Uh, that's exactly where we basically have him ranked to finish this season as running back 23. Um, we are lower on him because it's first time coach, new system. There's going to be a split. Monty's out there playing special teams right now, which you don't do that with bell cows. Um, I just... I'm I'm disappointed because I feel like he's definitely better than Khalil Herbert, but there is going to be a split and that offense is going to look good at times. It's also going to look real bad at times. So we, uh, we haven't been running back 23. Um, Luke Getze is the offensive coordinator. He spent the last three season in Green's Bay in Green Bay as the Packers quarterbacks coach while also serving as their passing game coordinator. I mean, this team is going to feature Justin Fields. It's not going to be about the run game. It's not going to be about David Montgomery. I think they're going to try to run the ball a lot and use play action passing should also be noted that David Montgomery. Well, yeah, he finished as running back 21 last year. He finished as ninth in points per game. He missed four weeks during the, during the, the middle of the season. And I was bragging this up last year, but the dude ran, learned how to run last year, literally run faster during the off season. And he looked more explosive and he doesn't seem like he ever goes down on the first tackle. Yeah. Herbert might take a couple touches away from him, but I still think that this is, is his offense, his problem. I don't think they're going to score a lot of touchdowns. So that automatically has to limit his upside at least a little bit. Right. So then how do you feel about him at running back 23? Do you think he's a value right now in drafts? He's currently going, let yeah, he's going to pick 35 super. right right at the end of round th- three. <sighs> he's going higher um, than all these dudes we just got done talking about. So I know. Yeah, so we, we have him down at 23. ESPN has him at 16. Fantasy Pros at 18. Um, Are we too low on him? I don't think so. I, I think you're pushing, pushing your... Like, I like him, but I don't think their offense is going to score enough. Should also be noted that he had a ton of catches to wrap up the season. There was a stretch uh, from week 13 to 16 where he had catches of eight, six, five, and seven, which okay. is pr- pretty, pretty good. Um, and again, finishing as a top 10 in, in points per game, I'll, I'll take it. I just don't think that he's going to score a ton, but maybe the bears offense will surprise me. They also have one of the easiest schedules in football this year. Um, so well, when you're well, that well, bad for that be, long, what's that when you're that bad for that long? Yeah. Well, it also helps playing the lines twice. So I, I think there is value here. I like him more in an auction draft than I do in a snake draft because I think you might be able to get him a little bit cheaper because the bears offense is bad. But I think it's hard to justify taking him over the some of the guys we've already talked about. Home against the Eagles, home against the Bills at the Lions last three games. Mm. Chicago weather. Christmas mm. Eve against the Bills. Yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get smoked <laughs> in that game. Like that's gonna be a lot too a little. <laughs> yeah. Like a, a lot, a lot. Uh, I think maybe Justin Fields will be great. Yeah, I um, I think we're we're closer to being correct on being lower than him on the consensus, which sucks as Bears fans. Yeah, um, but that's just because we don't think this offense is going to be good. It's really the same reason why we're done on Najee Harris, right? Yeah, like not not a great offense, uncertainty at the quarterback position, and not as not a great offensive line, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> 